What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome to my channel. And this is part six of my acoustic guitar build. Last time we put the rosette in. Today I'm working on the top. So what you just saw me doing was thicknessing the top. So I was getting that top down to the thickness it needs to be so that I can move forward, put the bracing on and do such like that. So basically what it is is getting it down to where it has some resonating properties, I guess is what, <laughs> what, you, what I'm trying to do. So uh, I can tap it and listen to it and you can hear like a metallic sound. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so let me show you how I'm doing this. And I realize it may be kind of difficult for you to see in the camera, but I've got pencil marks on this right here. So I've got an X here, X, 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 X. And while I'm checking for thickness on with the thickness gauge, wherever I don't want to go any farther, I'll put an X. Where I want to go a little bit farther, I'll mark a couple of dashes like that. So basically from here all the way down to here, I need to try to plane down a little bit more. Once I get that down to where I need it to be, I'll come back to you. Now I'm ready to put the sound hole, to cut the sound hole with the, the same circle cutting jig. I've got it marked out where I need to cut it. So I'm going to go ahead and make a first pass, cut halfway through and probably flip it over and cut the rest of the way through on the back side just to prevent any tear out. So first of all, I got to get this thing to the, to the zone I want it to cut. I guess we'll go ahead and do it. pretty good um, looks like I'm right at where I need to be so I don't need to adjust it any I will cut probably one more pass um, down in the top um, I was nervous about where I plunged in I was hoping that I didn't you know kind of clip it a little too high because the, the way that circle cutting jig fits on fits on the pin you know it kind of there's an angle to it you have to kind of push down straight so looks like I did it pretty good so let me make another pass and um, flip it over do that side and then I'll come back to you. I think that's it. I think I got all the way through. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, we did. Look at that. I'll have to clean that up a little bit. I don't know what it is, but there's something pretty cool and exciting about this got a sound hole now that is a pretty good feeling I'm very excited um, you can see that there is a little bit of cleanup I'll have to do right about halfway down on the top so in the middle oh barely it looks like I could have gone down a little bit more on that bit and cleaned off this little bitty uh, flash of uh, wood there but that should sandpaper off pretty easily so now I get to cut the actual shape of the guitar out I'm just gonna use this template that I bought okay looks about right right I don't know why this is a little nerve-wracking doing this part There you go. All right, so that's going to do it for today. I just needed to get that sound hole part out of the way um, so that I could start fresh on the next video with the bracing for the top. So um, maybe a little bit shorter, but I just needed to get that video off my card and start fresh with a new card for this next part. Um, so check it out, though. I'm gearing up for the binding. So I've got the binding jig from LMI. I went ahead and what I call invested in that. Definitely not an easy purchase to make, but it's one of the parts I'm most scared about um, other than, you know, doing the rosette, doing every, I guess, other than every single other part of the guitar. I've been scared about every single part. So I'm really nervous about the binding though, because you've already got the box together and now you're cutting into the, to the edge of it. So I was going to try to do it with just a little uh, router base and try to 
keep it you know square from, it's, I just didn't want to have to do all that so I bought uh, the binding jig well the, the half of it I asked for a gift for Christmas and I got that for Christmas the other half I had to save up and pay for myself so i um, ready to go there so that's just a sneak peek into what I'll be using for that part um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next part bye